Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G Flans. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man.
in a booth. They didn't know my gift. They didn't know that I could rap. They didn't. They just saw my look and they just saw my jazz in it. You know what I'm saying? How fresh I was. And they like, man, we got swagger. We gotta put her in there. But when I got in there, I came over him. Came over him, a hammer. You know, they didn't do anything with him. So what I did was by me being close to Shorty and I was connected with Black and Mao and some other people that I, you know, knew from dealing with her and you know running with her. I reached out to Black and Mao and I. I went in the booth, I gave it to Black and Mao, and when I gave it to Black and Mao, I gave him different lyrics. So I switched my lyrics up. When I switched them up, gave it to Black and Mao, put it in his hand, nationwide, banger. Overseas, banger. You understand me? That song is still picking up in areas, and it's still reaching and catching on fire. You see what I'm saying? So I'm just blessed and thankful because had the gift, but I never wanted to, you know, use it or use this platform, but my gift actually made room for me, you know, so now the things that I love to do by helping others and giving, now I use my platform to give back, so I'm always in the communities, I'm giving back for back to school, I'm always giving back for Christmas, um, I have a Stop the Violence Movement, R.I.P. Shorty, we march in the streets, and um, I reach out to mothers and sisters and brothers that's crying from low news and the loved ones of violence and we go on the streets and uh, we protest on that. I'm also a mentor to young girls. I have a mentoring program called Kitty Black Dolls. I teach them dance. I put them in parades. I, I teach them spiritual dance. We don't do bounce. I don't have anything against bounce dancing, but I don't teach them that. Um, I'm quite sure they're already mastering that just in the neighborhood, so I bring something different and I pull gifts out of them. I teach them to love themselves. I teach them to smile and I let them know that Whatever their dream is, it comes true. And I let them know to reach past the stars, not for the stars, past them. So just to build up, and I also have a new movement that I have going on. Um, I've been networking with some other powerful women. I've been working in my church, and um, I've been giving back there, and God has been using me in all some areas, and I've been empowering women. So as you see my movement, MMM, I have MMM 2K17, so I teach vision board, and I teach them how to put their vision and their dreams on a board, and I teach them how to set short-term goals to move towards their vision to be successful throughout this year here, because we're claiming success this year. So I've been working with young girls ages 7 to 21 and older women, 21 and older, just empowering them and building them up. Yes, yes, yes. put my music on a little short hole. I, I put it on a hole a little, but um, like I dropped the Rock the Boat song. Rock the Boat is something different. It's more of an international song, and it's moving around the world right now, and it's picking up, but I just have to get my New Orleans people on board because this is something different for them. They always want to box you in and put you in a box, but I'm something different, you know what I'm so saying? You think this record is, is, is like, I'm stepping outside the box, I'm, I'm making that transition from the ball genre onto a I make, I make music now, because I, I heard of you first only the bounce record. Right. And now you got a solid record. You know, it's, it's a dance song to where, you know, mothers could dance with daughters and fathers could dance with sons and, you know, and it's an enjoyable record and I, I enjoy performing this record and the dance is so easy and simple, um, you know, line dancers can enjoy it. Um, you could play that any setting, the DJ could pop it in and get it rolling and get the party going and everybody get on their feet and keep moving to this song. I'm excited about it. So do you, alright, this is your warm-up, do you have anything else coming up like that we should be looking oh, forward to? Oh, yes, look forward. I have pop music, I have EDM music. Like I said, New Orleans is, um, they, they will put you in a box. And I'm not, I'm not in that box. I'm bigger than a box. I would never box myself in. Making major moves. Do you, do you see yourself like, I'm getting out of New Orleans? Are you, are, are, I'm are you out of New Orleans. Home? I'm out of New Orleans, but I'm in New Orleans. What, you know? what does that mean, actually? That means, as far as my music, my craft, it's out of New Orleans. It's all overseas. I talked to Manny Fresh um, a while back. He said, Keaton, your music is overseas. They love it, you know? They, it's in rotation. They're spinning it. They're mixing it up. You know, they, they're doing trap music with it, and they're they putting different sounds to it. Like, the people is there. They just need to put the face with the music. So it's coming. It's going to catch up. My face just had to catch up with the music. But, like I said, I'm not just in New Orleans because I'm international. My music is everywhere, and I am my music. All right, so I put, at one point, and, well, a lot of artists have down, but down, of course, whatever. 
has never came to a point where I don't think it's working like I wanted to, so I'm gonna switch this up? Um, no, not really. Um, not really. It's I want to switch it up because I want to make change. You know, that's the reason why I want to switch it up. Like, I want kids to be able to dance like kids. I want them to be able, you know, New Orleans have a bounce culture, and that's our culture. But I still want kids to, you know, dance respectable to where they can still enjoy the music without having vulgar language coming out their mouth. Because when I go to kids' party, they're, like, cursing and stuff. And, like, my music is for adults, and that's understandable in my house, and they know that my music is for adults. So um, when I go to kids' parties and I'm singing radio version, some of them is singing the street version and I'm like strictly ready they'll tell you like I love kids um, I love to educate them I love to build them up because I was them before you know and I didn't have no one to really step in and kind of build me up I have like a self-motivational thing going on here so um just to motivate them to sing the radio version if they're gonna sing it and now 